Hood Canal Communications and MasonWebTV.com present 2016 general election candidates video sit downs. Here is Diedrich Allen with Mason County PUD number one commissioner candidate Mike Sheets. Well, let's just take a couple minutes to uh, tell everybody who you are, your background, why you're running for this uh, seat. Well, my name is Mike Sheets. Um, I'm kind of semi-retired right now. We just sold a business, Alderbrook Country Store out in Union. And uh, this PUD commission slot came up and I decided that I would run for it because I think I've got a lot to offer the patrons of PUD one. And uh, background, grew up in Shelton, moved away for a few years, worked in the grocery business for almost 20 years and uh, into management was a produce manager and then assistant manager and then left that and went into pharmacy business and managed three small pharmacies around the Shelton area for about 17 years and then the opportunity came up to have our own business and we bought a store in 2004 and we did that until last April and then we sold it and so here I am with time on my hands and thinking I've got something to offer so why do you feel you're the best candidate for this? I won't go best candidate. I'll go a candidate who has a lot to offer. You know, I'm not going to start, you know, doing that kind of stuff as far as somebody else is concerned. If people want to know about me, I've got a, a thing on uh, at the county for the candidates. And uh, I'm available. People can give me a call and talk to me, you know. Um, just experience over the years. I've got a lot of business management experience. You know, I'm private sector. I'm not a bureaucrat. I haven't been government job all my life and then, you know, looking to pad the end of it. I'm just looking for something to do now. So I saw that this came up and decided, that, you know, I've got a lot to offer. I mean, I can represent the community in a fair and, you know, good judgment and a lot of you know trustworthiness and honesty that kind of stuff I'm so, familiar, familiar with budgets and personnel issues and that kind of stuff so so what what are the top uh, issues facing PUD one I think a lot of it's the same as all the PUDs you know all the public utilities right now is you know where's the power going to come from the renewable resources that they're supposed to have a certain percentage of everything they sell to you and me is supposed to be from renewable so they're getting it from wind and they're getting it from solar and you know they need to most of it still comes here from hydro and the federal government has determined that hydro power isn't a renewable resource which I don't get that and a lot of people I've talked to don't get that either I mean where's the water gonna go I mean it's gonna go through the dams it's renewable unless we run out of water I mean, if we run out of water then we're in a lot of trouble everywhere but that kind of thing and then just you know managing the money at the PUD making sure that it gets spent in a wise manner making sure the equipment for the linemen that are out there working and doing the jobs that we all see when the power goes out you know they've got the best equipment that's that's out there that they get to use to you know put us back up and it's safety and you know all of those things you mentioned power outages. Uh, what can you, what can the PUD do better to make sure they to limit those power outages? I mean, you can't stop them completely, but is there something in your view that they could do better? Yeah, I think they could get out there and do a little bit more as far as you know, the limbing, going out and making sure danger trees are out of the way. Um, there's some easement. I won't call it easement. It's the areas where they run the PUD run the electrical lines that over the years when they first built them back in the 20s they were like 50 or 75 feet wide not like 150 or 200 feet wide and that was because it was right after the whole area had been logged and nobody was looking out 50 7500 years in the future and having big tall trees again that were going to be right next to the lines so i think you know they need to look at making sure that there's somebody out there taking a look and you know walking through the woods if there's danger trees they need to be taken out and if the property owner doesn't want to then maybe 
PUD needs to step in and you know have somebody come in and do it so that down the road we don't have an issue when the wind blows. And basically we're on the subject of infrastructure so do you have a plan to address the aging infrastructure for not just the electrical but what about the water systems? Yeah the water systems I think they've been working on that quite a bit you know PUD has gone into the water management business the last few years and uh, they manage a lot of water systems now and a lot of those water systems are antiquated and they've been slowly working on them here and there here in Union especially down below just below here hooking up communications they just redid a whole section down there of new pipe and you know I think got rid of an old well that was had a wood water tank and you know repiped it so that the water's coming out of a new more modern well up the street on McCready Road and then uh, some of the other water systems that they're working on are, they're all over the county mm -hmm. I mean I think they maintain some up in the Jefferson County too and over in Thurston County so that's something that a guy coming in as a new guy would have to take a look at and see where you know where the needs are so what can be done to better ensure electricity and water rates stay affordable <laughs> make sure we manage the money and how it gets spent at the PUD the rate payers are the ones that pay for everything so make sure we you know cut corners where we can as far as expenditures that don't need to be expended and uh, as far as the rates go you're at the mercy of the big boys out there BPA you know when they raise their rates it's kind of hard for the local utility not to raise their rates I know that PUDs three and one in the past have sucked up rate increases that were fairly small but I know this last last year or the year before we had a pretty significant rate increase and that came from BPA and you don't have control of that at the local level. Would you like to see the PUD accomplish uh, something that has uh, the current leadership has failed to do? Is there any particular item that sticks in your mind? I would like to see PUD take a look more at expenditures. Um, there's a lot of organizations out there that commissioners and PUD manager and stuff are more or less required to be part of to be members of and and you have to go to meetings here and there and stuff you know but I think we need to take a look at how much gets spent on on travel and that kind of thing and you know make sure that it's it's travel that's needed that's going to better the utility not maybe just travel that's there and it's available and well let's take advantage of this you know I just that's my opinion on it I'm, I'm a rate payer like everybody else and have been for a long time so and I'm a private business person coming in looking at doing this I'm not a been out there spending government money all my life okay. uh, PUD one along with the many other public utility districts uh, passed a resolution opposing the carbon tax initiative I-732 do you agree with that position I do agree with that position that's another government boondoggle I believe I mean I've read about it and it's like before you know it they're gonna be charging you for the air that you breathe because of the carbon dioxide that comes out of you you know they're gonna be charging you for how much you eat it's I don't know I it's a big farce I don't think that there's anything there that should be voted on I think it should all go away you know a carbon tax no they were right to pose it is there anything else you'd like to add that we haven't covered in here? Or anything uh, else you want to say? No, I appreciate the vote if anybody gets out there and votes for me. I mean, it's one of those things where I kind of look at it as term limits. Once somebody's been in a position that's elected for 12 years, say, mm -hmm. that's two terms at PUD, six years at a whack just like government representatives and senators they should have term limits so I think that you know we need to institute that kind of stuff at the utilities and other places do you think six years is too long for a term 
or is it enough to? I don't necessarily think it's too long for a term. I think six years, by the time you've been there for one year, you should have it down. And then over the next five, you should be able to implement things that are going on and understand what's going on around you. I think I've got a good understanding of how the utility operates. And, uh, you know, two terms, 12 years, there's a lot of people out there that have been in them for three and four and five terms, and that's, that's a long time. You know, that's, I, I think other people have ideas that they should be running for those positions, and I don't know how come people don't. No, not as community-minded as you are then. Okay. All right. Well, Mike Sheets, Mason County PUD number one, commissioner candidate. Thanks. Uh, snuck by the incumbent by a vote, right? In the primary? Uh, I think that's and what it was. It's kind of interesting yeah. to me. Just a one vote, so I yeah. can expect a pretty tight rate of sun. Yeah, probably. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll probably talk to you again. Okay. Right. Thanks for taking some time. Helping voters make informed decisions. This is Hood Canal Communications and MasonWebTV.com.